What's up, fellow wolves? It's your boy, the Bad Wolf. Woo! Here to bring you guys some more interesting information. Now, I've been still researching this, and I haven't completely finished it, but I'm going to give you what was given to me, so now you've gotten it. Is that how it goes? Something. Anyway, let's check it out. So, the Clear Field Doctrine. What is that? You probably never heard of it. Heard about it a long time ago, but this was also given to me by a viewer uh, for my continuing education. Um, so, obviously, like when I see something like this, I like to go, all right, this was something I remember, but not clearly. So, when it pops up again and again and again, must mean it's time to bring it to you, my good friends. So, let's check it out. So, this states here that all courts were dissolved in 2008. Now remember this is educational information about go pounding on people's door saying you know this madman on YouTube said this and blah blah blah. Do your own education. Okay so this is clear field doctrine. All right. <clears throat> All courts were dissolved in 2008 under the clear field doctrine then became registered companies on Dun & Bradstreet company search. When governments enter the world of commerce, they are subject to the same burdens as any private firm or corporation. So this was U.S. vs. Burr, B-U-R-R, 309 U.S. 22, section 22, comma, U.S. C.A., 2286 E Bank of US verse Planters Bank of Georgia 6 L E D and then in parentheses wheat four two four four parentheses. Note under the Clearfield Doctrine the courts are no longer government entities in that they are demanding private monies. Okay, so let's take a moment here. They're, they're demanding private money. Now we have to ask yourself. Now most of you guys know the Federal Reserve isn't actually federal. Um, that's a privately owned name and that they are privately held. Um, so, in fact, otherwise the government would just print their own money and do whatever they want to do. So that's why they have to ask them is because they are private. So, in fact, yeah, I guess in that light, they are demanding private monies. It's not their monies. It's private money, but used publicly. All right, for debts public and private. All right, so let's go on. So, and must have a contract with you to compel performance. Otherwise, it's what? Slavery, right? Okay. Um, and I believe that was abolished, outlawed, something like that. Interesting. Do with the information what you will. I'm just saying, look it up for yourselves. Interpret it as you see fit, um, and go forth. All right, so moving on. What else does this say? They are no more special as, no, as a normal business than your local jack-in-the-box um, store, whatever else. Okay? The Clearfield Doctrine, private commercial paper is used by a corporate government, then the government loses its, its sovereignty status. Now, there are already Supreme Court rulings that have told you guys, told us, told me, that um, that we in fact are the ones who gave the Constitution power as American nationals, and if they derive their power from that, then can they be really more powerful than the people who gave it power? Hmm, something to ponder. Anyway. Uh, private commercial paper is used, uh, then the government loses its sovereignty status and becomes no different than a mere private corporation. Government create and enforce civil laws known as statutes, acts, and legislation created by the BAR, the British Accredit Registry Association, all right, um, which are duty bound to comply with the law of contracts. The law of contract requires signed, written agreements and complete transparency.
Clearfield Doctrine Supreme Court Annotated Statute, Clearfield Trust Company v. United States 318 U.S. 363-371. 1942. Now, according to the inf information I was given by a judge, um, they typically are only going to abide by, okay, rulings after 1933 to 38, okay? If you don't know why, then you should watch some of my other videos. But anyway, those people who've been watching, you know exactly why. All right, so here we go. So this was in 1942, all right? So we're good to go there. They should abide by this. All right, it says, Whereas defined pursuant to Supreme Court annotated statute Clearfield Trust Company v. United States, all the other information, governments descend to levels of mere private corporations and take on the characteristics of mere private citizens. Where a private corporation, what were private corporate commercial paper, Federal Reserve notes, FRNs and securities checks is are concerned for purpose of suit such corporations and individuals are regarded as entities entirely separate from the GOV that's interesting all right so Okay, it says, this case is very important because in 1942, a case that decided that the United States Corporation, okay, filed its Certificate of Incorporation in the state of Florida, July 15th, 1925. Now, that I didn't, I knew that they did, I just didn't know where and the date. So, before just believing what you hear, do your own research, look it up. Um, I am just the messenger. So... Remember, this is for U.S. nationals and not for U.S. citizens. Uh, so do your own due diligence. Let's continue. All right. And it was decided after the corporate government agreed to use the currency of the private corporation, the Federal Reserve. Uh, the private currency, the Federal Reserve note, is still in use today. Okay. Um, and then it goes on to talk about uh, some other information. All right, guys, so there it is. Look up the Clearfield Doctrine if you want to find out more information on that. Read all the Supreme Court cases on there. I'll give you guys all the information. So that's it. I appreciate you guys for this history lesson. Thank you for joining today in class. And class is dismissed. Don't forget to hit that bell like subscribe on the way out. Don't forget to check out my other channel, the Bad Wolf Media channel. Uh, there's only a couple of videos on there because I'm here taking care of you guys. But I will be over on that channel putting a whole bunch of interesting things on that one. So be ready for that. It's going to be fire. Um, otherwise, take care of yourselves. Don't forget, no matter where you get your information on the internet, my channel, the next person's channel, always, always, always do your own due diligence. Remember, this is from a non-combatant, non-belligerent. American National, otherwise from the Department of State, known as a non-citizen U.S. national, American birthright, native to North America, an indigenous individual. Did you guys know that uh, the one of the lost tribes of Israel were people of color and came to the United States of America when the other Native Americans were here and became indigenous people and started living here? Look it up. That's all I have. Uh, don't forget, guys, that we are in the land of Amura Ka, Amura Khans, the snake kings and priests. A little information there. Talk to you guys later.